In this exercise, I'd like to show you how to use numbers effectively and numbered lists in your documents in Word. I have a group of paragraphs here that contain only one or two words per paragraph. What I'd like to do is make a numbered list out of them. I'll click anywhere in the, in the paragraph that says Peppers. And with the Home tab selected, to create a simple numbered list, all you need to do is go to the Paragraph section and click on the little icon that says 1, 2, 3. And it will give me a number. Notice it did more than that. It actually indented the paragraph on the ruler and it put a designated amount of space between the period and the first letter. It's no longer controlled by the normal style, but if I click on my down arrow, I find it's now controlled by my list paragraph style. I can either override that by uh, adjusting it on the fly or I can change the style itself. We have a lesson for both of those. We won't mess with that right now. If I click on the second paragraph below and click on the same icon, it will say, well, the paragraph above is the numbered list. You want me to be numbered? I'm going to be the next one in line. And same way with if I do number three. Now, I, here I have an instruction. And uh, I'll actually underline it to make it stand out. And I don't want this part of the list, but I want chicken on the list. The question is, if I click on my numbered list, will it call this number four? Or will it call it number one? Let's see what it does. It reverted back to number one. It said, I don't see any numbered list immediately above me, so let's start something new. If I click on the one below it, oh, it says, oh, the one above me is numbered, so I'm going to be the next number in order. What if you want chicken to be four? There's a way to force it to do that. If I click on the down arrow, I have an option here that says set numbering value. I'll click on this and I can actually set the value here to 4. I'll click on OK and notice Salt said, well, I'm going to add one to whatever is above me. So this is 4 and this is 5. I click on here and click on my number again and that's 6. OK, if I want to uh, add another one, I can go anywhere inside a list here. Let's go after salt, hit enter, and that becomes the new six. And we'll use um, brown rice. And if I enter again, it will insert another one. Now here's a, here's a catch if you do it this way, if you have a split list. If I hit enter on mustard, notice what happened. It understood what I was doing. So I'll put in um, paste. And here I'll, I'll put in spaghetti. Okay, it was smart enough to know what was going on in my list. Sometimes you might run into something where you edit in strange ways. Let's take a couple of these out and see what happens. I'll just uh, delete them. Okay, now I told the second list to start at four, but watch what happens. It's smart. And now it starts at three. It's continuing my numbers. So you can do this to continue, or I can just start another list here. I can uh, click on my number here, click on set numbering value, and I can just say start new list at um, one. And click on OK. And now this one is independent of the one above it. So there's all kinds of ways you can modify your lists. And if I add to this one, um, and so on and so forth. So it's a nice way to do it. Now, one of the things you can do besides just items in lists is you can make entire paragraphs. This one says first, second, third. If I want to make a numbered list here, I'm going to highlight all of these. And I will go ahead and I will click here. And now I have first, second, and third. And it's aligned according to the 
number. But what if I don't want a number? What if I want to say A, B, and C? Well, I can click down here. I have several default options. I can do a capital A, B, C, and they all change. Um, I can do a Roman numeral, and it will align them really nice. I can also click on a lowercase a, b, and c. I can uh, click on the small um, Roman numbers. Or I can actually create my own format. We won't go into that right now, but you can define a, a number format all of your own. You could call it um, Proposal 1, Proposal 2, Proposal 3, um, whatever you, you can imagine. Here's one for... Uh, small case letters with a parenthesis, uh, numbers with a parenthesis. So we have all these different ways in which you can use uh, numbers in Microsoft Word on lists, on entire paragraphs. And what I would like to do is I don't always like the way they control the end ending, so I would perhaps take these here and move them where I want them, and then I will actually create a style that matches this. Numbered lists are a great way to show priority and flow and process in your documents. We hope you found some of the variations of using numbered lists helpful as you continue to grow in your knowledge of Microsoft Word. I'm Jim from the Sharper Turtle and we hope that you found this lesson useful. If you have, please like us, please subscribe to our YouTube channel, and leave us any comments or suggestions so we can create more lessons that will be a benefit to you. Thank you so much.